Hello friends, this one's for all the marbles. Prepare to start round four. We're starting from sixth place. Four behind the lead. Tom Kite says go for birdie. I'm going to go for... Hopefully we're on the fairway. <laughs> and I got away with one there, that was... Pretty poor. Oh, that's also poor. Through the back of the green much. Okay, this is... <laughs> this is not what I'd call an easy shot. I'm actually going to try and float it in here. That's not going to help. Ball should stop. Yeah. Okay, 11 feet. 11 feet on a hell of a putt. Hope for the best. It went in. Whew. Tom Kite stays 8 under par. Still one behind us. Two. Needs a big drive. We're not getting a big drive. We're getting a... Oh, thought we had a chance to avoid it. We're not buried. We don't want 100% here. Because we can't go for the green. Not from 250 away. Oh, that's... It's not ideal. Not ideal. Like to get this close. Oh, seven yards short. Okay. Well. Oh, 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 that's a par save. Bunker off the tee. Bunker off the second. Somehow knock it 70 yards onto the green and finish off with a 20 foot putt. Absolutely not how I'd like to do things. Definitely just a layup opportunity here. Shortest par 5 in the course, you'd like to have a go at it. But it was not there. This could be decent. Could be very decent. I don't have that. I'd buy that for a dollar. Marco Mira up to nine under. Sorry, you know you've you've just come to join me, and I'm already leaving you. We're up to third, ten under, three behind. Can we get there? Can we get there? Risky drive. But when you're facing a 15 mile an hour headwind, you just kind of think, I could do with going for it. This could be okay. We'd like it to stop though, and it's not going to. Have a look at the green. We are we're not bad. If we can get this ball to stop. Hmm. 
Not ideal, not ideal. <laughs> we can't keep leaving ourselves missable putts for par. They won't always go in. Case in point. Even this. Far from a gimme. Okay. Okay. Well, it was great work for a birdie on the last hole. And it's so easy to undo it. You know we mean business when we start putting arc on the ball. We just want it to... Oh. Well, we did want it to stop. But <laughs> we no longer do. Eh, 20 feet. Twenty feet and very holeable. Go in. Go in. Thank you kindly. Okay, so that's fifth place now. We've had a couple of players go up. Jim Gallagher come down a stroke. All going on at the top. We just need to make sure we're in the mix. That's not bad. I like this. I like this a lot. I think this could be close. I think it could have been close. Four inches below the cup. Not a massive amount of movement on the green. It's going to be short. Don't cheer that. Don't cheer that. That could have gone in. Jansen up to 13 under. Made it to double figures. But we're. We're a big couple of strokes away from really getting there. I would say this hole is a chance. We're going to have a fairly easy to deal with wind, I think, on this one. Oh. Almost there with the accuracy. Well, actually. Oh, we hit the pin. I think the game felt sorry for me there and was like, ah, you didn't miss the accuracy by much. I can I can let you away with that. I don't know, we're not reading the green there. Okay. Rushed pup, but we made it. So that's our obligatory three birdies and a bogey for the front now. Up to the third with Bruce, Light Bruce Lightsky. Will you come back? I'd like to think this has a chance of being quite close. If we get a bounce, we're not getting a bounce. <sighs> okay. It's... Far from over. Can still get this close. I'm getting very close. Not close enough, but... Come on, birdie the ninth. 
Brad Faxon says it's a definite birdie opportunity. I think two solid shots. Leave yourself a decent little bump and run on the green. Leaving about a hundred and ten, I hope. I think a hundred and five would actually be ideal. Okay. Depression on the fairway, of course. It's nothing but depression on the fairway in this game. It's a bit hard. It's a bit hard. Would have liked it a little softer. Oh, the wind's absolutely poo on it as well. Twenty six feet. Let's see what we can do with it. Didn't deserve that. Oh, didn't get it. Yeah. That one's fair. That one's fair. You can't miss the accuracy like that and expect it to go in. Fourth place. his round finished as well. Well, that's almost certainly Drew 2, Mark Lai 1. He did beat us on Avenel. For those of us just joining and no idea what I'm on about with Mark Lai, the guy who does the music for the channel, his name is very similar to Mark Lai, so <laughs> it's kind of... It's a point. It's a point that we have to beat Mark Lai every time we play this game. This could be good. This could be good. It's good. Jim Gallagher Jr. Absolutely shit in the bed on this one. Seven under par. Lee Jansen with a birdie. Pulling himself further away. I don't know where to hit this. I don't know where to hit this. Fingers crossed. Come on, wind. Get it going. Get it going. Push it. Yeah, we're fine. Whew. Mm, it's a little soft. It's a little soft. No. I mean, I'd love for it to be a little soft at this stage. And it's half buried. I mean, what else do you want? Right. Come on. Just stop. Just stop. Why is it telling us to hit the ball so hard? Marco Mira pulling himself way out of contention. Go in. Go in. Go in. Yes. <laughs> Jim Gallagher Jr. now in contention. Uh, I think that ship's sailed. Oh, Lee Jans and another birdie. Oh. He's he's making it difficult, for sure. I'm not keen on this shot. 
I'm not keen at all on this shot. Arrgh! I think we want to hit it from the original spot. The drop's not. If we'd taken stock before we hit it, look at the shot we could have hit. Oh, that almost went in the water as well. <laughs> there would have been blood if that had gone in the water. <sighs> what do we think? A chip in? I mean, you've got to try, right? Green. Take the inches above. You can never be happy with a double bogey. Takes us down to 10 under par. We've got six holes left. Two par fives, two par fours, two par threes. Lee Jansen with another birdie. He is pulling away. Becoming increasingly clear that I don't know where the bunkers are on any of these holes. Just need to hope for contact here. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> I don't know why I was taking a one iron on that shot. That's insane. <laughs> Still left 200 yards though, so I'm glad it did. That's a little. That's a little far. Uh, it may stay on the green. Yeah. Forty-three feet for birdie. No, come on, we're not getting down, we're not getting downhearted here. We've got. To... Okay, play until the end. It's fine. It's fine. Par's good, right? <laughs> Lee Jansen, birdie machine. I, I, I really don't think there's a chance now. I mean, that is very close. That is very close. Solid birdie. Mark Romero sneaking up behind us as well. Somehow or another, Lee Jansen did not birdie that hole. Whatever hole he played. <laughs> He's still 17 under. He's definitely led his own charge there. Oh. I mean, well, thank God it's a massive green, but... Well, no, that could have been a lot worse. Probably looking at a dive to the right, I think. Mm. It's when it gives you the belief that it could go in. Well, we're up to third. Wayne Grady dropping a stroke. Is that Ian Baker? It was one of them. Someone dropped a stroke. Now. <laughs> okay, not that it matters because we're not on the fairway. Oh, that's... 
actually really not good. I'm trying to get a huge dig with the one iron here. If we get a hundred, we'll be happy. One thirty-nine. Okay. Right. Oh, depression on the fairway. <laughs> oh, don't you know it? Not hard enough. There is water. We are doomed. No, it's perfect. It's not, it's a little hard actually, but is it? I mean, oh, he scored a par, did he? I think it's the first one in his round of 17 birdies. This could have been for birdie, this. Could have been for birdie. Just know that. Just a little deflated, in all honesty. Start of the round, had you believe in. The end of the round. Had Lee Jansen go on. An amazing tear. It's a good birdie. But at this stage, you feel it's not enough. Have we been okay? I think we've been okay here. We've got to go for this. We've got to go close. You know, I was waiting for the wind to pick up a little. I think it's picked up too much. Oh no, it's actually good. It's good. It's very good. 17 feet and we can go out with our head held high. Come on. Be good. <laughs> uh... It's a 70. Two under. Where's it putting us? Second. Tied in a four way share of second place. Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for making it to the end of another tournament. I will see you guys next time where I think we're going to be playing a skins game. Till then, bye for now.